Hey, if you guys show up, I'll show up. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. I always say that. Why do I say bye? I just said stick around. Don't go anywhere. So I'll talk about Lily's cancer journey and then um, talk about what that is to be go through that while depressed and pregnant. And um, yeah, so stick around. This is the Let's Talk Raw family. Thanks so much for all your support. Hit that like button and subscribe. We're back. Well, I, I will admit that with depression, pregnancy, and my daughter having cancer, it has been a journey. I just want to say thank we, excuse me, just want to say thank you for all the love. She's doing great. Um, her hair is starting to grow, <laughs> grow back. And I have a ponytail, uh, <laughs> a tiny little she ponytail. Is dealing, she's dealing with it so well. Um, she is cancer free as of last Friday. And um, so we will um, be doing no more chemo, but we do need to do one round of four weeks of radiation just on the spot where the tumor was. So I wanna give you a quick update on everything. I am so sorry that I have not been doing as the videos as much as I had been. I was doing them like two, three times a week. But everything with Lily's cancer has, um, and, and this pregnancy, and also dealing with my depression, which is what this video is going to be about, has really just taken a toll, ha had taken a toll on me. And so I just took a break. But let me tell you something. I am so grateful for all the emails that I've gotten and the sweet comments and just um, the love over on my Instagram and my Facebook. Thank you guys for coming over there to check on me. Um, super, super grateful for that because our family has been through a lot. I feel like a ghost is haunting me just to make me feel like I have the flu. I'm hot. I'm tired. I'm cold. Ugh. That's her, like, without saying the word chemo, that's what she's describing. So we're halfway through our walk and she just said, I feel like a ghost is following me trying to give me the flu. It's like the perfect way for a kid to express what chemo feels like. So we're turning around and heading home and getting her back to rest, but this is good to keep her body as strong as possible, but the minute she feels tired, we get back home and <laughs> get her back rested. Yes, so anyway, that's my little, my little chip in of what we're going through since you guys have been so loving and asked. I've got, I have gotten so many messages um, from other families that are going through similar things and it's just, um, it's heartbreaking, it's heartwarming, it's, um, it's just, you guys, I mess with my hair a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but this is the Let's Talk Raw family and I just want to tell you a little bit about what's been going on the last few months that I haven't been quite present with you guys on our channel. Um, Lily just had a proton therapy, so she's not feeling her best right now. She's in the back, but I'm going to plug in some videos of her and how she's doing and, and, and she really is doing well. Here we are in the hospital waiting. Oh, I look a little bit. <laughs> oh, the baby just came. Did you feel that? We are waiting. I said there's a lot of layers. I can't feel it. Mm -hmm. We are waiting to get her spinal. No, what are we doing today? MRI. <laughs> Tomorrow's spinal spinal tap, tap is spinal tap is tomorrow. Yeah, and today's MRI to check the beautiful brain. So it's been blessings and then it's been some other stuff. I mean it's but but it's all been a blessing and wrapped in one big journey of just a lot. Um, I've never cried so much, but I've never been so grateful and laughed so much. I've never realized how strong I am. Um, I've never realized, um, <laughs> I think that's the big point right there, how strong I really am. And that depression doesn't take a hold of everything. Um, mind over matter and also um, finding support. Um, there's Facebook groups, there's other parents that I realize are going through things. And you know, when you start going through things, this massive, a child that has a terminal illness, which by the way, she's cancer free as of last Friday. Thank you, Jesus. Um, when you go through these things, you know, you realize how little these other things are, but depression isn't little. De depression is real. And I do want to talk about that and talk about what that is to be, go through that while depressed and pregnant. And, um, yeah, so stick around. Okay. And what's the first thing last night? Uh, Lily's sides. Lily, where are you? What are you doing? Are you okay? What's the matter? 
Here, get up, baby. You scared mommy. I went looking for you everywhere. Come on. Oh, what's daddy doing? Now she's at the toys. You scared me. I couldn't find you before. You're tired? Okay, that's okay. It's only been two weeks since chemo. You're not going to feel your best. Oh, okay. The nurse is here. Let's go. Will you get the cars downstairs? It's not a Star Wars machine. It's not the one that we saw downstairs. Oh, oh but that's the one you'll be in. You put your mask on and just lay there on the bed, and that thing will go all around you. Perfectly. Yeah, that thing is cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh no. Oh, I mean, this is the Let's Talk Raw family, so we're going to talk raw. And so life um, before my daughter had cancer, um, you just you, it's one of those things you never think it's going to happen to you. And I don't mean just cancer. I mean just things, you know. Now, when I was struggling with my anxiety or depression, I thought everything was going to happen to me. Car wreck, you know, my kid was going to get hurt. Everything, you know, um, everything. I don't even want to say things out loud because I still struggle with if I put it in the universe, then something bad will happen. But once your child gets sick, this lion comes out on you. And um, I will say the reason why I haven't done videos and you haven't seen me as much is my lack of energy. So my depression was manifesting in a lack of energy and a lack, I, you know, something I enjoyed very much was making these videos and learning how to edit and trying to get better at that. I'm still not great, <laughs> but learning. Um, I still use the same video edit, so please forgive me for that, but that's just what I do. I'm not a techie, so if it's kind of choppy, I'm super sorry. Um, I'm working on that. So, right. So my depression was manifesting and not having the energy to do everything, you know, like do these videos, come talk to you guys. I just, even though I had more to talk about than ever because of what we were going through at the same time, I feel like I had nothing to say. I just felt blank because all this info from the baby's cancer and Lily, the baby, the baby in my belly is, is doing great. He's growing. He's six months long, 25 weeks. It's great. Um, but all this information, all these things we have to do to keep Lily healthy, I forgot about what it was. I, so I sort of just let go. I don't want to say forgot because I never forgot. I sort of let go of what I was doing and, and having this channel and speaking up about depression and, and women's issues, um, whether it's suicide or it's all those things. And then, you know, trying to get pregnant. And then when I did get pregnant in the first cycle and everything, um, you know, trying to give tips on health and, and all the things that all the things that helped me in my sobriety, my recovery, and um, and I when I say recovery, I mean in my constant recovery with depression and bipolar, and in my recovery with addiction, um, and it's it's a process, and you it's a daily growth, it's a daily thing, and you know, I, I, before Lily's sickness, this you know the stupid little troll comments used to really get to me, like people think they know you when they've never even like met you, it's crazy, and they're like you're you're never gonna get better, or you're crazy. I mean, whatever. It's like now you go through these things in life that teach you that, you know, that doesn't even matter. What matters is your sole purpose. And, you know, these people in this home are my sole purpose. And, you know, this channel is something that is, is great to, um, it's a great accountability for me. And I love hearing from you guys. And, you know, I get back to you guys as soon as I can. Um, I, I so appreciate your support. And if you want to talk through things, I get so many emails about, I, I've been going through this, but I haven't want to talk to you. Yes, I, I, have no, I love hearing from you. And I, I am no doctor, but I would love to get back to you and share my experience. So basically what I've been doing to really process my depression, to be honest, is I've allowed myself to take rests. I've allowed myself to not feel too much pressure to like make these videos and feel like I have to, you know, I've allowed myself to take a nap with Lily and, and, you know, just really be, just be, which is, which is not easy for me. Um, one thing I haven't done that I should have done is like kept up my exercise, but I've been really healthy with eating. Um, once I got past the really bad all day sickness, I was sick for 20 weeks with this baby. Um, so it was rough, you know? Um, so being pregnant, you know, keeping up my therapies with depression, making sure to take care of me as much as I possibly can going through this stuff um, has just been a day-by-day -day process. And I'm lucky, to, blessed to have the support of my husband and the church and great friends. And, um, and you guys, finding me on Facebook, Instagram, messengering me, 
so grateful. I mean, so grateful. So I just want to give you an update. I'll throw in some little excerpts of Lily. She's not here right this second. I was hoping she would sit down with me in this video, but she didn't. I'm going to put on a little bit of bronzer and I have other things I need to do today. If you guys have any questions, my email is um, right below. And um, I'll also leave my website in case you want to see the products I use. Um, cause I do get asked that cause if you guys have gone and followed me, you will see that my day job is as an esthetician and a makeup artist. And I exclusively work for unique because of the charity for sexual abuse called defending innocence. So it's not like some MLM company. It's not like that at all. It is a company that really does have a philosophy to help others. And so defending innocence is to help get children out of sexually abusive situations. We have three Haven home three Haven homes. One is opening up right here, um, right down the street in Alfreda, Georgia. I'm actually in, in downtown Georgia, but it'll be about an hour away or so. So I get to be hands on. I'm really excited. So when you do shop with me or um, want to be on my team and work with Unique, you get to help get these children out of these terrible situations. Um, so that is actually contributed to my depression because I went through that as a child. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for keeping in touch and um, sticking around. And this is Let's Talk Raw Family. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> go down that way. Awesome. Now we're talking. <laughs>